guys. Happy Vlogmas Day 7. Oh my god, I am so tired today. I don't know why. Um, I am having the leftover, well, some of the leftover pasta bake. I have more at lunch as well. Because it is amazing. I just need to cut it out and then I'm going to microwave it for like two minutes, I think. <laughs> it's got really crispy edges. I think everyone liked their one um, yesterday. Oh my god, this pasta is delicious. Um, yeah, so this is my last week of work. But I do have a few days of work next week. Oh my gosh, I'm in the water this afternoon, I forgot. Um, yes, yeah, so I have a few days of work next week. Um, and then we also have our work Christmas meal, which I love. We go to this Italian restaurant in the next town. Um, or in our nearest town. Um, and the food there is delicious, but I don't know what to get this time. I think I, think I should order something different. Normally I get... Um, the focaccia bread starter um and then the carbonara and then normally i'm too full to get a pudding it it the food is so good and they are quite big plates as well mm. this tastes nearly as good the second day mm -hmm. So on our way to work, uh, we came across loads of smoke from about a mile down the road or half a mile. We saw the smoke and then when we got closer, we saw this. So I started filming because I have never seen that much smoke. And the, like, I have never seen a fire that big that's out of control. Obviously, we've got our village bonfire that's massive, but that's a controlled fire. This was not. I just feel so bad for the people that live right there. I don't think it damaged any of the houses, but when we were on our way back from work, the road was closed off and there were still fire engines everywhere. And that was like two hours later. So yeah, it was a big fire. Okay guys, so I am going to be cooking uh, some sweet and sour chicken. So this sauce, but I'm gonna have it with egg fried rice. And for egg fried rice, you need white onion, um, rice, obviously, and some spring onion and the eggs. So we have those. Oh my gosh. And eggs. You know what? We don't have any spring onion. thought we did, but that's not a big deal. So here are the eggs. We only got six eggs left. Jeez. I'm gonna use two eggs for it. Anyway, let's cut this onion up. Absolutely, completely forgot to film. <laughs> uh, but I've now cracked and whisked two eggs. Finished cut I finished cutting up the onion. I put the onion scraps in the scrap bag in the freezer and hopefully hopefully on Friday might have to be Saturday I will make um I will make the uh, vegetable broth. But we'll see. Uh, the rice is nearly boiled. It looks good, it's nearly boiled. Um, but I have to leave it out to dry. And the chicken's still cooking. There's a little bit of blood in these eggs, but they're fine. Okay. It's going to be delicious. Fingers crossed. I don't have any spring onion, but that's, that's fine. That's fine. I need to go put these eggs away. Okay, so I've diced the cooked chicken breast. And I'm frying the onion. And 
and then I need to add the sweet and sour sauce and the rice. Okay, so I added some of the rice to the onions. It's, it's making coffee noises and the sauce is in the chicken. I switch them around because they've got the bigger fire on the side. So adding, adding the egg. So you start to scramble it and then you mix in the rice. And that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, this egg fried rice actually looks really good. Yum, yum, yum. This looks so good. This egg fried rice, it smells really weird, okay? But it's homemade, we can't expect it to be like the um, fast food ones. Yum. I need to use a spoon. <laughs> the meat's at the bottom, apparently. Duh. Yum, this looks so good. Okay, I'm going to try it. It looks good. Mm. Yeah, it does taste a lot like on onion. Mm. I didn't want to add too much egg though because we're running out of egg. We need to buy some more eggs. Mm. Okay, so when I make it next time, more egg, less onion. In fact, when I was cutting up this onion, it actually made me cry. Like, you know, the teary stuff um, from the onion oh, juices and stuff. I don't know what I feel like now. Um, you say that. Will you eat that rice tomorrow? Or is mm, no, I was going to say someone needs to eat the rice, really. I think I'll cook myself some bacon and mix it in with it. Could do. It's actually really nice with this. So I just need more egg, but we're running out of eggs, so. And the onion was very pungent, it actually, you know, made my eyes water. Mm. Mm. There's the first frost. It's on my window. Look at it. Oh, shiny. Oh my God, it's freezing. I'm gonna put pajamas on tonight. Um, I threw away all my long pyjamas, so I still only am wearing short pyjamas. I mean, the long pyjamas didn't fit me anyway, so it doesn't matter, but short pyjamas it is. Um, yeah. My lips are getting so chapped with the cold, and we're out outside for Alana's concert thingy, her choir thingy. Um, I don't know, they, they sang some songs, I don't know what you want to call it. Uh, but they like a carol concert sort of thing. Uh, they sung some songs, um, and yeah, it was like an hour long, and it was outside in the freezing cold. And now you can tell how cold it is because it's all frosty. Um, and yeah, it's so cold. My hair is so tangly. I didn't have time to wash it um, because we literally rushed straight back for the concert. Anyway, I'm going to bed. I have two BTs microwaved. I microwaved them for three minutes, you're not meant to. But I did. Um, and, yeah. <sighs> it's so cold. I will be buying some long pajamas. I just need to go to the shops first. And I can't do that this week because I'm working. But I finished work. Um, I might have an hour on Friday. And then four hours next Tuesday. And then an hour and a half next Monday next Wednesday and then it's our work Christmas meal which is so much fun I love it and the food amazing but I'm gonna try order new food today um and yes so after Wednesday next week I'm off so I can do all the prepping for Christmas stuff like making a Christmas wreath I really need to do that in fact we could do that this weekend stick around um and buying presents and stuff like that. 
I need to go to the big shopping centre again. And I'm going to try and convince my grandma to take me to Booker's, which is like, I think if you're in America, it's like Costco or something. It sells like the multi-packs, like the giant packs of things, because um, you get like membership cards to it. Um, there's one... Twenty odd minutes away from us. I'm not sure. Actually, it's probably more like half an hour. Anyway, my grandma has a card. I'm pretty sure, at least she used to. So we're gonna see if um, I am gonna ask her. She doesn't know yet. I'm gonna ask her if she can take me to Booker's to grab some stuff, <laughs> um, some food, probably some chocolates and stuff, all the Christmassy stuff. I also want to grab some curry sauce packets and stuff like that because they sell them in bulk and those are the things that last for a long time. Yeah. So I'm going to ask her if we can do that. But I think she might say no. I honestly think she might say no and I'm not sure why. I don't know. I can't think of a reason for her to say no unless she's busy. Um, <laughs> but still. I don't know what that is. It's freezing out there so cold so so cold there's a sheet like that thing of like frosty ice it's really pretty but it's all on my roof it's the roof still leaks as well so i'm kind of wondering whether the wet walls and stuff are gonna freeze and when things or when water freezes it expands I'm not sure that's a good thing in this case, especially as we still haven't found the leak. They can't find it. Could be from next door. Who knows? Or from the top of the roof running down and then only dripping in. I don't know. I don't know. Still waiting on someone else to come and look at it.